And President-elect Joe Biden announced key nominees for his climate and energy team. Biden's picks fulfilled his promise to put together a cabinet that reflects the diversity of America. Biden is proposing a sweeping overhaul of the nation's transportation and electrical system to cut the oil, gas and coal emissions behind the increase in global warming. Folks, we're in a crisis. Just like we need to be a unified nation in response to COVID-19, we need a unified national response to climate change. We need to meet the moment with the urgency it demands, as we would during any national emergency. And from this crisis, from these crises, I should say, we need to seize the opportunity to build back and build back better than we were before. One of the president-elect nominees is Waterbury native Brenda Mallory. She's been selected to be the chair on the Council on Environmental Quality. Mallory graduated from Yale and has more than 35 years of experience in environmental law and policy. I know firsthand the challenges that everyday people face when one unexpected illness or expense can upend the economic stability of a family. I grew up in the working class community of Waterbury, Connecticut, a town not so different uh, from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I know the faces of the marginalized, and I appreciate the challenges of urban pollution. President-elect Biden's nominee for national climate advisor has Connecticut ties as well. Gina McCarty was commissioner of the Connecticut Department of Environmental Protection for five years before leaving to become EPA administrator in the Obama administration. 